Hello, it's Sarah. I have a real quick DIY for you guys that I saw. Um, her name is Love for Creativity, and I don't know her name, but her YouTube channel is Love for Creativity. The, the video is DIY Laminated Shape Page Markers. She does a like a sped up version of the whole process. And here's what you end up with. I used, and I don't know which pocket letter these were in, but thank you so much. I don't have anything like this in my stash. They're little um, page flags, but they're characters. Um, I think you can get them at Daiso, she said. Uh, what else? Oh, her magnets, she just got at Walmart. Now, I struggled with my magnets. I had this pack of magnets, but they're really old. And this is actually the perfect size for these. You just want these little pieces, but they don't really stick very, like that one's kind of sticking now. But what they are is you put them on your pages of your planner and stuff. So I ended up using my, um, these are by Basic Gray, I think. Yeah, Basic Gray. And these are for um, um, your little, um, scrapbooks what are they called mini albums right and you can put like flaps and different things that they're really strong magnets they're awesome but I ended up using them because uh, mine weren't really connecting like that I wanted them to connect like that you know so say you have your um, your so dory or whatever let's see uh, See, I, these aren't material. I also did the, let me show you what I just did. I just ran these through my laminator. And I actually used the, um, the Target Dollar Spot ones. And they're really cheesy. I know you guys love them. These. But the paper quality is what I mean. The paper quality is um, really thin. Here they are. Like, they're thin and they're kind of not really cut right. Like, I think you could do these with decorative paper. All I did was stamp on them. I used my favorite stamp, which is this, um, I think it's like an awareness stamp. Let's see, it's by Inka Dinka Do, but it has all these words of encouragement on it, and I just love it to death. I use it for everything. And I just stamped on some page flags, and then I um, used my gel pens and like sparkled them up a little bit. So, and this was in two seconds I did this. I just wanted to show you guys real quick, and I had a couple more of these left I have only one more that I just wanted to save because thank you again someone who sent me a pocket letter and I'm so sorry but like when I pull these out I I don't know what I'm gonna use them for but I pulled them out because they were cute and just put them in my stationary stuff and then when I saw her um, DIY I was like OMG I have to make that so I have this laminator this is old as could be this is one of the first things I have had it's GBC I don't even know what that stands for creative laminator and it only has one speed, because I know you guys are getting like these fancy ones for the mink and all that stuff. But it has a ready light. And the first batch I did yesterday, the ready light wasn't on. It, it didn't say ready. But I'm impatient, you know me. And I don't know why it did this, but it like bubbled up. So I wasted a couple of them. It like got all weird. Actually, I mean, you could still bend it, but it's, it's not adhered. See? It's not adhered. I wonder if I could save them though, I don't know. Um, but then for the most part, these were the ones that I had success with. And all she does is she cuts them out um, really close to the edge and then you just fold them in half. So when you lay them down on your laminating sheet, you want the to it to be top to top. And then when you fold them, aren't they adorable? So she had the cutest little um, flags that she was using so um i just when i saw i was like oh my gosh i know i have them but then like i said i just did these this morning and all you do i'm gonna just cut this real quick so you want to try and line them up on on the um laminating sheet as close to uh even right as you can and then i was thinking with the flag I could cut a notch in the top, but I, th I don't think I will. And that's it for these. You just fold it in half. And I mean, I was thinking I could cut a little notch in there 
But there it is. I mean, that's super cute. And then you just put a magnet and it's a little flag. I mean, that's the simplest way. You could just do it with pattern paper. Any cute paper you have, maybe put a little gel, you know, glitter on there, laminate it and, and have some magnets. So like I said, she had, because I tried, um, yeah, I don't know why I pulled this out. Just to show you that it sticks on your planners. Um, I tried these magnets, like I said, and then I had these sheets of magnets that I was using to hold my dies. And these are not strong either. These were the ones that you get for um, putting over your, um, your air vents in the house, like if you want to block your air vents. But I, I mean, I might just go get a fresh pack. I don't know if they lose, lose their magnetism. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to share that. Go check out, and I'm going to show you her video is DIY laminated shape page markers. And she shows you the whole thing. And I'll try to link this um, below, all right, when I post this video. Love for creativity. And she's got a lot of subscribers, so I, I haven't looked through all her videos. Um, I think she does a lot of planner stuff, but I'm not sure. So she, these were definitely for a planner. And sometimes they just come up when I'm looking at a different video. There's the what to watch over there, and they're um, on the side. So sometimes if I see something cute, I just click on it. And, you know, I don't love these on here, the basic grays, but they do the trick, and they're very strong. So I thought for pocket letters, you could just put a couple of these in a pocket letter. I mean, you could make a ton. Like, I got these laminating sheets right here. You could, put, you could fit, like, you know, at least 10 on here. Maybe not 10. You want to leave a little space. Um, but, yeah. So, uh, and even, like I said, just go ahead and put some stickles, or not stickles, gel pen on there. And there you go. All right, you guys, thanks for watching.